I've just met you now. A. I've just got. Oh no! I got my. I'm just stuck up here. Is it okay? Good m oh no! I forgot my tripod. Damn it. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I thought I would start kind of like a weekly vlog. I think I'm going to do. I think. Yeah, weekly vlog. What I want to do though is I'm going to name this the Glow Up Diaries because going into 2024, obviously my main priority as much as it is probably yours to obviously just become the best version of myself ever. Like I just want to reach my full potential this year um, and just really glow and grow and everything like that so I want to make some vlogs that are kind of like more dedicated to that and more like just sharing some tips and advice throughout the vlog uh, as well as obviously just sharing my regular day-to-day -day life as well um, I've just been so focused like so focused this past week on becoming the best version of myself setting myself up for success this year we are seven days into the new year no we're not what's today no we're eight days guys eight days into the new year and i'm feeling incredible honestly this year just has such a good feeling about it and i'm just so excited i've already talked about it in like every other video of mine about how excited i am for 2024 but yeah it's truly going to be the year of just growing and glowing baby like oh i just can't wait so anyways i thought i would name this the glow up diaries and just bring you guys along throughout my week and kind of just share what i do also just like touch on what i'm doing to obviously glow up this year as well anyways actually the very first thing that i thought i would talk about in these glow up diaries is dressing and acting as your dream self i have talked about this so many times but it is so important every single day that you show up as your dream self show up as the person that you want to be like identify who you want to be by the end of the 2024 like 2024 i want to be someone who has x characteristics x habits x traits like who do you want to be by the end of 2024 and start showing up as her every single day and i guarantee you guarantee you that is how you're going to achieve your goals and that is how you're going to become that person by literally showing up every single day acting like her dressing like her speaking like her thinking like her all of the things just do your makeup do your hair do your outfit in a way that makes you feel confident because when you feel confident you show up better and you do better so yeah anyways i have just arrived at a cafe i'm gonna do some work at a cafe for a while i've had a full-on morning it's actually it's 11 50 it's actually 12 o'clock already what the hell this morning has just flown by i have just done a bunch of work i've obviously been to the gym i've done a lot of content things this morning as well i filmed a couple things for tiktok like um they're these like little videos they're these little like videos i'm doing on tiktok at the moment which is kind of like advice like mindset and body tips i guess uh on tiktok so i filmed a couple of those this morning got myself ready and now i'm at a cafe because i'm gonna do some more work on my business and building the life of my dreams i thought that because it was overcast today it would be cold i was mistaken i'm literally in a long skirt and i am cooking absolutely cooking by planning out my week first business wise and just social wise everything wise uh, and then I will get into some more work I can't believe I've got my camera tripod on I got my matcha That was a very productive work stint. 
very productive actually yeah got quite a bit done but yeah overall i'm pretty happy with how that work stint went i got through quite a bit i have quite a lot of client client god that was horrible no overall i'm pretty happy with how that work stint went i have quite a lot of client work to do as well later on today i just wanted to get out some of the things that i've been needing to do uh which is more like growth work i actually recorded <laughs> a video on it this morning but basically a way to feel way more productive with your days and actually well it's basically the core way you actually achieve your goals is to focus on the growth work rather than just being busy and just being productive because I think for me especially I always would focus on just like the maintenance tasks like I would be just doing my client messages and um, I would just be doing my emails and my client messages and like promoting things just kind of doing the maintenance task the daily maintenance task and don't get me wrong i obviously still need to do all of that and i need to make sure i schedule that into my day but what i was finding is that my days were getting so filled with the maintenance tasks that i didn't have enough time to actually work on the things that were going to get me close to my goals like for example working on new business projects and working on uh, my website and like things that actually help my business grow i found that i was running out of time to do those so what I've done is I've now started focusing on the things that actually matter that actually are going to help my business grow and then doing the maintenance tasks um afterwards like I've been prioritizing the growth tasks oh my gosh it's so freaking hot in here I've got to go because your girl is sweating in here my goodness uh but anyways that's just like a little hack is focus on the growth tasks things that are going to actually get you closer to achieving your goals and then focus on the maintenance tasks time i get into the car i'm like do we go for a music vibe or do we go for a podcast vibe i just have been listening to so many podcasts i try to listen to like well clearly i'm <laughs> wait <gasps> okay my favorite podcast ever she has just released an episode and it's 43 minutes oh slay yes I'll be listening to this. I'm just making some burger patties to put in my salad. I've just got like a coleslaw mix, avo, lettuce, cucumber, and chipotle sauce. edited my vlog for TikTok. I just did the voiceover for it and did a couple graphics and stuff and I'm about to post it but I have gotten ready just into a sports bra and some chill shorts because I'm gonna go for a walk. Hopefully get my steps in before the rain comes back because she stopped raining but fingers crossed it doesn't rain while I'm out there. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's the plan. It is four o'clock. Today has just flown by. Like, I don't even know why today has gone so fast, but so, so, so freaking fast. I have not done everything that I wanted to do, which is a bit annoying, but it's okay. We're just getting through things one thing at a time. Uh, so I'm going to do my walk. I'm going to do all of my client check-ins, voice memos, everything like that while I'm on my walk because I haven't had a chance to do that today. So I'm going to do that. Uh post on my social media and then i'm going to do a visualization on the way back i freaking love my visualization walks so gonna do that uh on the way back good morning i'm feeling a little bit bloated from my dinner last night like i feel Oh, my gut is just, I don't know, like, not coping very well at the moment. I really need to get back onto my gut health vibe. I just, honestly, Christmas and New Year's has ruined my health. <laughs> so, I need to get back onto that. Anyways, good morning. I'm just about to head to the gym. 
Uh, I am running 15 minutes behind schedule, but that's all good. I will pick up uh, fast afterwards. I'm just going to put on my podcast. I just finished editing one of my YouTube videos. Well, so this morning I did all of my self-development, everything like that, and then planned my day. And then I just had to edit my final, well, watch the final edit of my Christmas vlog, which if you have not watched it, that is up. And I'm going to post that later today. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to go to the gym now. Today is upper body day, so let's go do some push. Okay, the fit of the day. I'm not sure if I want to go for the beige shorts though or white shorts. I've got the same ones in white, but I'm going to try this on first. I think I'll do the beige. Beige is something different, you know? I've also just had a shower and got ready for the day. I washed my hair as well. Oh boy, I've been needing to wash my hair for like a week. So it feels so good to have clean hair. I've just made myself my protein pancakes. They look delish. I've just come to the mall um, because I'm gonna go to a cafe here just because I couldn't be bothered going to find a new cafe. Uh, and I need to do a couple errands afterwards, so I figured may as well just come here and then I'm here and it's just easier rather than going down to a cafe. So yeah. I've just come to the cutest cafe. I've actually been here before but I haven't sat inside before. Um, and it's so cute. Okay, I am going to do a bunch of growth work for my business. I'm also currently working on a free, I don't know if I mentioned it in this vlog yet already. I'm doing a free seven day reset. So it's gonna be like a mind and body reset ebook uh, and it'll be yeah, a complete mind and body reset so i will show you guys that once it's done um, but that is what i'm going to be working on this morning and then i want to do some growth work i also have some uh, modules that i need to get through from my business coach my personal business coach uh, that i need to get through so i'm going to do those as well uh, and then yeah more growth work for the business and, yeah I'll just have a productive work session <laughs> Here is a little sneak peek of what I've started to work on. I am just updating my email marketing flow just with a few new emails and then I'm going to send that off to all my email subscribers. You guys, I can't stop smiling right now. Like, I am creating my dream life right now. I'm just working on, I'm working on this ebook and like, I just can't even explain how much I love what I do and I'm so grateful that I get to do this every single day now. Like I just, it makes me so happy and I'm so grateful. So yeah, I'm just like having a moment as I'm like doing my work. I'm like, oh, the gratitude I feel for being able to do these things. Like all I want to do in life is be able to inspire and motivate people to do better with their lives. I just love what I do so much. Uh, so I'm feeling very good because I've cleaned up a lot of business things. So one of my biggest things that I really wanted to clean up was my like email marketing. I just have been so slack with that. So I have put in the time and effort to create a whole workflow for my email marketing. And now that it's all done, it's all good to go. So now when you sign up to my email or you get a download from me, like for example, once this ebook goes live, once you get the ebook, you'll then be put into the workflow email list uh, and then all my emails will get sent out to you and it's all automated I don't need to do anything now it's great fantastic I've got a salad it does have dairy in it which I am not supposed to have but YOLO guys Okay guys, I should not be putting this on the internet. I'm a very private person when it comes to this kind of stuff, but like, oh, y'all are my besties. I just want to tell you. So I have this crush. <laughs> okay, he basically, okay, so he works at a supplement place. Like he's like fitness, health. I don't know, you know, the vibe. Anyways, um, he works at this like fitness place and I went in there. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. <laughs> I don't want to tell you guys what's going on, but something just... <laughs> I'm just in a mood because of something that just happened. Um, but anyways, I am in the car. I just did a massive work block. Like, honestly, hang on. I need to crank the aircon. It's so freaking hot. Um... I did a massive work block, like that was so good. I was honestly at that cafe for, I think it was like four hours. <laughs> they were probably so sick of me, but it was so sweet. One of the girls um, who worked there, she was talking to me and she's also from New Zealand and we were just having a good conversation. Uh, so that was nice to like connect with her. Um, but yeah, anyways, I need to go home. I need to eat something because I'm actually hungry because I had that salad at like 12 and it's three o'clock now. Anyways, I need to go home, eat something. I want to record a podcast and record a YouTube video. So that is the plan. I picked up some protein powder as well. So yeah, let's just go home, smash that all out. Uh, and yeah. Good morning. I can't even remember the last thing I vlogged. Uh, but basically it is the next day. I have just gotten myself ready for the day. Just pinned my hair back. I'm actually obsessed with this claw clip. Like it's so cute. And then I've gotten into my dress. This is just like my skims. Gims vibe dress got some sandals on I'll show you in a minute in the actual mirror but yeah I have gotten ready for the day I've had a productive day so far I obviously did all my self development went to the gym did my workout I then came home I did a massive deep clean so I cleaned up my entire room like vacuumed I cleaned the bathroom did all my washing uh, bought in all my washing put out washing just literally so much kind of like housework things did all my dishes made breakfast all that kind of stuff oh and I went for and I went for a nice visualization walk this morning I think I said oh no I think I said I'm gonna make a whole video about visualization walks and how to do them and kind of like they actually do them properly because yeah visualization walks are my key like I absolutely love them but yeah I think I said I can't remember if I said it in this vlog or if I said it in the morning routine that I filmed yesterday. But yeah, I really want to share with you guys how to do visualization walks. So I will make a whole video about that. Uh, but I have packed up my stuff and she's going to another cafe. I got a message yesterday from one of the girl, uh, from a girl and she was like, how do you have such a talent for finding aesthetic cafes? And um, I'm like, yeah, it's honestly my personality now is like every day just going and working from a cafe. I just love it because I think while I catch up with you guys, I'm just going to pop you here because my arm is getting so tired holding the camera. I think something that is so important is just romanticizing your life and actually enjoying every single thing that you do. So for me, for example, because I work for myself, I could just work from home. I could just work at my computer, at my desk. And whilst yes, some days it calls for that. And like, for example, if I'm doing client calls, all that kind of stuff, I do prefer to work from home. Um, and if I'm like recording podcasts, youtube videos all that kind of stuff obviously i will do it from home and i do love to work from home in the morning so when i first wake up i love to do like work stints at the dining table and then also at night um before i go to bed i love to do all of my work in my bed like i just love my bed so much it's so cozy it brings me so much joy so when i get to like have my shower and just feel clean and cozy get into my nice pjs that's another hot tip by the way is show up as your best self even when no one's going to see you even when it's just you who's going to see you because i think that is such an important thing if you can actually show up as your dream self even like for example before you're going to bed like put on nice pjs put on the pjs that your dream self would be wearing do your skincare routine do everything like that as your dream self would because if you can't like the whole purpose of becoming your dream self achieving your dream life everything like that is for you and if you uh if you just think to yourself oh it's just me like why would i put on cute pjs or why would i do my skincare really nice if it's just going to be me it's like well that's the most important person because if you feel good you do good and also it's kind of just like you should romanticize your life for you feel good for you you shouldn't be putting on makeup and putting on out nice outfits and doing your hair really nicely and wearing cute PJs for anyone else other than yourself uh, and that goes to the whole kind of like searching for external validation it's like 
turn inwards inwardly and do those things for you and you will feel so amazing for it like i promise you you will feel incredible so anyways one of my favorite things to do is yeah do my shower my skincare all of that get into some nice pjs like matching sets i love matching set pjs just makes me feel so put together and organized anyways and then i get into my bed and yeah like i said i'm just obsessed with my bed like i just I just, I never put any effort into my bed when I was back in New Zealand because it just honestly wasn't even something I thought about and I didn't realize it would make me feel so good. But here I'm like, oh my gosh, just, I love my bed so much. Like looking at it just brings me so much joy. It's like my headboard and my cushions. Oh, I just love it so much. Um, anyway, so one of my favorite things to do is to get into bed and just like sit there and do my work at night before I go to sleep as well. Um, so yeah, anyways, why was I talking about that? Um... Oh, oh, romanticizing your life. So yeah, I love to go to cafes to work because it romanticizes my life. Like I could sit here at my desk and be in a baggy t-shirt and my hair up in a bun. Or I could put on a nice outfit. I could do my hair nice. I could, I literally don't even wear much makeup, but make myself look presentable, go out and actually get myself a coffee, sit myself down and just enjoy where I'm at in life. And I think, and enjoy what I'm doing with my day and with whatever task I'm doing when I'm sitting at the cafe. So definitely, definitely romanticize your life and actually try and make all the day-to-day -day tasks as enjoyable and romantic as possible. So yes, anyways, that is my little ramble on romanticizing your life. Let's go to a cafe now. I wanna try a new one. So I'm gonna go down to Burley, I think, to try a new cafe because yeah, I am in the mood to try something new. It was also a beautiful morning this morning, but now it's gone cloudy. I'm hoping it does clear up because I would love to get some sun later on. But yeah, for now, gonna go to a cafe and be productive. It is the fit of the day, the dress, the bag. I'm actually obsessed with this bag. Like, it is so cute. And then the sandals. I've come to another super cute cafe. I will show you it in a minute, but it is so cute. Love. Okay, I'm gonna do a voiceover for these next couple clips. So this was Friday night. I ended up taking myself out on a work a date night. It was so nice. I got my favorite food and then I did some work and it was just absolutely beautiful. And then on Saturday night, I got Mr. Potato and the girls got JYG and we went down to the beach and we watched the sunset. Like how beautiful is this? So this is your sign to go with your besties down to the beach and just talk about only things that are going to grow and glow up your life. This was us just being silly with the camera. <laughs> uh, and then we've got Yoji afterwards, of course. No better way to end the Saturday night. I'm like, oh. 